Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm really excited that you're here with me today to see my monthly empties. And actually I have been gathering up these empties for a long time. In fact, I had a huge, almost bushel basket full of them because I was off YouTube for about six months and so I kept gathering my empties. But this morning what I did is I looked in my empties and I decided to show you the products that I really think are some of my favorites. So this is empties and mini reviews most everything is a favorite. And if you're not a subscriber and you're 50 plus and are interested in all things beauty, feeling good, looking good, anti-aging, then I hope you subscribe. And when you click that little bell that just sends you notifications of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend, that would be awesome too. Okay, let's get into this. I've got a lot to show you. First though, I wanna show you one of my favorite things and that is this blouse. And this is what it looks like. And it's really not that this blouse is so special, but one of my favorite things is Thread Up. And I'll put a link below if you're interested in learning more about Thread Up. But this is just one of the many blouses that I've gotten from Thread Up. You go online there and you look through all of these secondhand clothes, basically. But I always click New with Tags or Appears New so that the items that I get are pretty much brand new looking. And as women, we all know that we have many, many outfits where we think they look great in the store and we pay full price for them and then we get home and we wear them once or twice and they sit in our closet. And that's really why I think Thread Up works so well for women because you can get absolutely great bargains. I think this shirt was probably $10 and I really like it. So if you're interested in that, there's a link below. And if you use that link, you get $10 off your first purchase and I get a $10 credit so I can buy more great tops. Okay, end of commercial for Thread Up. That's all I get from them, by the way. They don't pay me or sponsor me in any way. But let's go ahead and get into these favorites. And my first favorites are my makeup favorites. And this first one is absolutely the best powder I have ever used, the best loose powder. And this is expensive. It is the Chanel Powder Universal Libre. And it is in the color Translucent. And as you can see there, it's pretty much gone. And ooh, there's a little more in there. And believe me, this is so expensive that I will use that little last bit. But I went online to order my powder and I was a little bit horrified because I couldn't find it anywhere. So it's a little hard to come by right now. Normally I pick it up at Nordstrom's and I think I used Macy's. I think I finally found it at Macy's. But if you've never used the Chanel loose powder, there is something about it that is just amazing. And you know me, I really am in favor of drugstore cosmetics in many cases and I'm always looking for ways to save a little money. And this powder does not save money. However, I think I've used this for maybe a year. A little goes a long, long way. But there's something about this powder that just is better. I mean, there's just no doubt about it. You can't really tell there. But it sets your makeup beautifully. It doesn't make you look dry and pasty. And there's something about it that just evens out your skin tone, evens out your pores, and just gives you a beautiful, beautiful glow. And I must have 50 powders, and I've tried them high end, low end, and there is nothing like this Chanel powder. <laughs> it looks pretty grungy, sorry about that. Now my second favorite is actually a concealer, and this is on the lower end, but I love it so much. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect, and this is what I use for the darkness beside my nose and under eye bags. I use it here to null out those red veins that we all get, and here I also have some red veins, and my chin has kind of a divot, so I put it in there to kind of bring that forward but I absolutely love this concealer. I did a video, which I will link below, in which I compared this Milani concealer to Tarte Shape Tape, which up until I used this, I had used for about three years. Absolutely love the Tarte Shape Tape, but I feel like this is just as good, and if you're looking for a wonderful concealer, I think you would really like this. Now my next makeup item is an eyeliner that I keep paying for, even though I probably have 50 eyeliners in there. And this is the Pure On Point Eyeliner in the color Down to Earth. And I like this for two reasons. First, it's an eyeliner that just glides on beautifully. It's just perfect on your eyes. And it also stays in place and perfect all day long. But the thing I really like about it, and you probably can't see this because this is an empty, but it has a self-sharpening point. And the more I use eyeliners, the more I realize that I will never buy an eyeliner that does not have the self-sharpening point because obviously when you put on eyeliner, that precision point is what you want. You just want that beautiful smooth line. Absolutely love this pure on point eyeliner. And this is probably about my eighth or 10th tube of this. 
Now, my next two empties are mascaras. One is a high end, one is a lower end. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. And I think, ladies, that we each need two mascaras in our wardrobe. One when we just want to be casual and comfortable and look like we just kind of rolled out of bed and we just happen to look great. Maybe on a Saturday when you're running around, you could use something like this. But this is a fabulous mascara. If you want long, dark-looking lashes but without clumps, absolutely love this. This has been my favorite the whole time I've been on YouTube for a natural look. Now, this one is a very, very good mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Love the little case there. And it has a very, very good brush, which I really appreciate. Very nice and thick, kind of a standard brush. It does lift and separate and make your lashes look wonderful. I think this is a wonderful mascara, but to me, it's just equal with other high-end mascaras. Neither better nor worse. However, this is a little more of a glamour look, which I always like that. Now I have a few skincare empties. The first is my Retin-A, or Tretinoin, and I absolutely love this. I have been using this for about three and a half years now, not this one, because I've gone through many, many tubes of this, but you would have to be under a rock to not know the benefits of Tretinoin or Retin-A on your skin. I am using the 0.5% strength. You can go up as high as 1% or even a little higher, but whenever I've gone up to 1%, I peel like an alligator and it never seems to stop. So I am fine with sticking at the 0.5% and I do use this every night. I think it really helps lessen the fine lines and wrinkles. It just makes your skin look younger and more dewy. Retin-A is known to just turn over those skin cells because as we age, our skin does not turn over as quickly. But when we're younger, our skin really turns over much more quickly. And I think if you're looking for a younger, dewier look, you might want to give Retin-A a try. Now, using Tretinoin makes your skin more sensitive to sunlight and makes it much more easy to burn. So it's very important that you use a sunblock along with your Tretinoin use. And this is one of my favorites. And a lot of YouTubers try a lot of different sunblocks. But I figure when you find something that works and it's about 12 bucks and lasts a long time, you know, why change? This is the Australian Gold Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy SPF 50 Sunblock. And this plays so well with Retin-A because it is an actual physical sunblock that contains zinc oxide in it. But unlike some zinc preparations which go on all white, this actually goes on much like a foundation. I'm not going to put it on my fingers because it's just so grungy. But it goes on a little bit like a BB cream foundation. And some women have said that they will use this on a Saturday when they don't want to wear makeup. I'm kind of a makeup girl in terms of my foundation, so I use this under my makeup every day. But I do use this every day. And for those of you women who are sheltering at home, the sunlight does come in through the windows. We are getting sun exposure every single day, either through our car or through our windows at home. So please, the best thing I have ever done was at about the age of 35, I started wearing sunblock every single day and never looked back. And it is absolutely an essential habit if you wanna keep your skin looking good. Now, all of us love to have good looking faces in terms of our skincare, but body skin is really important too, especially as we get older. And sometimes people ask me, what body lotion do I use? And it is this Alpha Skincare 12% Glycolic Acid Renewal Body Lotion. This is wonderful. I've seen other YouTubers that use this. However, I started using this years ago when the brand was called Alpha Hydrox. What I do is that I have this in my shower and every morning when I'm done showering, I towel myself off. And when I'm still kind of damp, I go ahead and put this on my arms, my legs, my tummy. And actually for the longest time, it was so hard for me to do that body lotion step because I'm kind of an oily person and I thought, ooh, I don't like the feeling of that lotion on my body. But when I saw how much nicer my arms looked through using this, I realized that I had to make this a habit and now I don't feel like I'm ready to get dressed in the morning until I use my body lotion. But this is particularly good because due to the glycolic acid, the 12%, which is a strong amount of glycolic acid, it is continually helping turn over those skin cells, those aging skin cells that can look a little old and a little dry and a little haggard. And it helps to uncover new, fresher skin cells. Absolutely love this. I think you would too. Now my next okay. empty is something that I wanted to show you in the last few videos and just never got around to it. These are called Magic Backs Earring Lifters. As you can see there in the before picture, her earring is flopping forward, but then she uses the Magic Backs and the earring is nice and straight. What this does is it keeps your earrings straight and it also gives your ear holes some support. 
because I have gone through the 80s and the 90s with the huge earrings and my ear holes are in terrible shape and the earrings always tend to flop forward because those holes have gotten a little larger over the years. But using these magic backs is a wonderful way to help your earrings stand up at attention and to protect your ear holes too. Now these next two products are products that I hope you can give me replacements for. The first is a mousse and this has got to be Fantastic Mousse, Collagen Infusion Mousse. And this came very highly recommended from another YouTuber that I respect. But I ordered this and it was expensive. It did last a long time, but it really didn't seem to do much more than any other mousse out there. So if you know of a good mousse, please leave it in the comments section below. And here is a dry shampoo and this is the John Frieda Luxurious Volume Dry Shampoo. And you know, it was fine, but it didn't really seem any better than any other dry shampoo out there. So again, if you have a good dry shampoo that you'd like to recommend, I would love to hear it. And also a good mousse because I really do need more volume in my crown. Okay, the next three empties are all from the same line. These are the Mark Anthony Instantly Thick Volume Sulfate-Free Shampoos and Conditioners. Really, really absolutely love these. I have to say though, in the last few mornings, I've realized that my hair is getting a little dry after probably four months of using these because I love volumizing shampoos, but this morning I did not use them. And I'll probably go for the next week or two weeks and use normal shampoos. But whenever I really want good volume, I go to this line. It's very inexpensive and it totally does the trick. Here is the thickening shampoo. Here is the thickening conditioner. And I actually did use this this morning. And in fact, I use this every morning. This is the Instantly Thick Volume Hair Thickening Cream. It just comes out like a little fluffy white cream and you just put it in your hair where you want it to be thicker, a little bit on the top and then a lot through here. I really, really love this and it's super reasonable in price and I'll put the links below for all of these products. Now my last three empties are kind of random and the first one is kind of important in this coronavirus time because I've noticed that through the sheltering at home, which I've been home over two months now, every now and then I'll get a little scratchy feel in my throat and I think, oh no, I'm about to get a cold. And so how I avoid that is I go ahead and use this Neal Med Sinus Rinse. It comes with a bottle that looks like this and then it also comes with salt water packets. And what you do is you just take the salt water packet, dump it in the bottle, and then fill the bottle most of the way with warm water, and then you shoosh it up your nose. And it's a little difficult to get used to at first, but I think it's really worth it to do this because salt is a disinfectant, and I've really been able to avoid some colds if I started this early enough. I really prefer to use this in the morning so that you can shoosh it up there and it can mostly drain out during the day because in the times when I've used it in the evening, it felt a little strange to go to bed with this salt solution still in your sinuses. It just didn't feel like that was very healthy. So I use this in the morning, but if you and or your family get a lot of colds and that kind of thing, I really can't recommend this highly enough. Now my next empty is really random. It is a salad dressing empty. And I have probably gone through 20, 30 bottles of this Paul Newman's. I love the fact that all of the proceeds from this go to charity. I think that's wonderful. But this is Newman's own balsamic from Modena, light balsamic vinaigrette, and it only has 50 calories for two tablespoons. And I am always a more girl. Whatever it is, I want more. While you see blue cheese salad dressing, I wanted extra dressing. You know, if I had a cheese pizza, I wanted extra cheese. Everything is extra. And unfortunately, with regard to salad dressings, that extra on the plate can really end up on your tummy and your hips. And I didn't like that. So I was on the lookout for a good salad dressing that did not have many calories. And so this is basically 25 calories per tablespoon. And while this is maybe not as good as like a raspberry vinaigrette or something like that, just for day-to-day -day use, this is just a lovely salad dressing. I think you'd really like that. Now, my last empty is totally random because this is a floor product for your hardwood floors. And Alan and I have used this for years in our rental houses. And once in a while, we even do it on the hardwood floor in our own home because it is wonderful. This is called Quick Shine Hardwood Floor Luster. What you do is you clean your hardwood floors and then you push, push away the furniture if you can. Then you kind of spread it out on your floor and you hit it with a damp mop and it dries just a little bit shiny and it just makes the wood look more lustrous and more rich. Absolutely love this. And if you're not using this on your hardwood floors, you'll be absolutely amazed at how great it makes your floors look.
Okay, that is a look at some of my previous empties. And if you have comments on any great products that you think I should try, please leave them in the comment section below the video. I would love that. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I'll be choosing a card from the Miracles Now card deck. This is by Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I am ready to receive love. I am ready to receive love. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card, and at first I thought, well, that is self-evident. And then I realized that sometimes it's a little uncomfortable to receive love. As women, we're so used to doing for the others around us and saying, you know, are our kids happy? Is our husband happy? Is my mother happy? And we're used to giving out love, but sometimes we feel a little uncomfortable accepting love from others. So friends, just for today, as we go through our days, let's realize that love is a two-way street and that while it's important for us to give out love, it's important for us to accept love in return. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.